Hello everyone, welcome to Elite Geospatial. Today, I will teach you how to convert raster to vector after classification. You are done with your um, supervised classification, you've done your accuracy assessment, your error matrix, whatever. Now the last step is to what? Convert your raster into vector. It's more easy and more to handle when it is in vector so today we'll be using Erdos Imaging and ArcGIS and the version will is version 9.2 and then for ArcGIS we're using version 10.5 now to do that we will launch our Erdos and get started all right we're now in the interface of Erdos Imaging version 9.2 to do that quickly, you just go to the in vector tab and then you go down to raster to vector. And then this is the input layer of your raster and then the output vector. So you click at this uh, folder and then you go to you navigate to your folder. Here we're going to use 2019 among the classification I've done. Then you OK then you go to your vector output and you go to recent or anything and then you navigate to the folder you want it to be safe and then i want it here so just type a name and include vector just to the for differentiation and you okay and then you okay again all right a tab will be open a dialog box will be open again this time around you don't do anything there all you need to do is to what click OK yes OK then it will process is converting hundred that's okay now the remaining steps of the process you you go to vect clean vector layer that's the next step now this input coverage is the one you just finished working on so you just bring it in that's the vector layer you just converted okay then you go right to new output check it and then you okay sorry you navigate to the folder to your output now you can name it maybe 2019 clean any name that you differentiate it from the other do that then you OK. <clears throat> Excuse me. OK, then you OK. Then you allow it to process. It's done. All right, now you go to ArcGIS, you open up your ArcGIS for the next set of process. Okay, we're in ArcGIS environment now, so let's import our uh, the file we have converted on Erdos. Okay. clean okay this is the ve vector we've created so now what you do is to export this go to data and you export and choose a folder and then you name it save and okay <coughs> if you do not export it will not do what you want so you have to export first before you can use it so you can remove this now you right click you either come to edit future and go to start editing or you can use this one up here start editing is still the same thing okay 
So once the editor start, the editor start, you click here to highlight the whole of this. So you right click and delete. Now it will remove any extra curriculum activities, leaving just your boundary and the future you want to use. So next, um, you right click or you double click. If you double click, it will open. Now you go to symbology. Uh, you go to categories and then you change this to grid code. And then you add all of them. Okay, and then you apply. Okay, then you go to query, the de definition query. Go to query builder. Now you select grid code, double click on it, and you set equals to. Now each of these numbers you see here, 5, 6, 12, 18, signifies your classes which you classified when you were doing your supervised classification. Now this five stands for something so you have to go back to your raster file and check which class is five which class is six which class is 12 and which class is 18 so he said you just say grid code is equals to 15 five sorry from your get unique values then you load it you can verify the expression so this expression was successfully verified or you just okay when well, you know you've done that so i okay and then i apply now as I applied, let me say OK. Now you see that D5 has loaded. You come right click on it. You go to uh, selection and select all. OK. Now <coughs> you come to your editor and then you match. To match all the uh, classes you just selected together, it is done. You double click again. Oh, sorry, merge. Now, once that is done, okay, it's done. You double click, and then here you change the next class. Instead of going to query builder, you just change it to six because we have six, twelve, and eighteen. Then you okay. 6 will be selected then you right click here and you still come to selection select all you ok yes now 6 is selected then you go back to your editor and then you merge <coughs> ok Okay, it, it will match them together. Then we are class 12 and class. So you either double click and or you right click and go to properties. Now here we'll put class 12 and OK. You right click again, go to selection and select all. This table potential contains a yes. Then to select, then you go to your editor again and merge. Okay. Okay. Now we've merged that. You double click again. And then you class 18 and then you OK so class 18 will be displayed then you right click and you go to select all and you select now class 18 happens to be built up so you merge them according to this so you merge and okay so you can stop your editing now yes okay so you double click again and then you come to symbology you 
uncheck this then you okay okay you go to layers and attribute table now oh I made a mistake okay now after you've done this the next thing is to go back to your properties then you cut this one out Control X or then just okay all other classes will appear so once other classes appear you can now open your attribute table now you can double click here it will expand the attribute table so from here now all you need to do is to you add uh, for your names future you can name it future so that you can have names for it since the name will be text you're okay you do same for area and the other informations that you need area uh, double then you're okay oh, oh sorry there's another area so that's why this one okay now for this you have to start your editor to edit the name and then <coughs> this is the bare land according to my classification uh, this grid code will tell you which one the six is uh, this 18 is my built up and 12 is water body and then six is farm land okay then to calculate my area now can now stop my editor yes it has save now to calculate area you just right click you can use either field calculator or you can use one for field calculator it's more raster but you can use calculate geometry to do your calculation like you can say no one no, you again okay now you have varieties of choice in the area and then don't forget your projection is key Kano state is in zone 32 of projection so either you're using under the wgs 1984 and projection zone 32 or you're using minadatu zone 32 but for this work i'm using uh, the, under the wgs the clock 1880 spare rod so now here it's the unit you will select you either want it in square miles or square meters or square kilometers or square feet or hectares or acres anyone so let's say i want it in hectares so i'm not okay just calculated my areas in hectares okay so basically this is what oh finally you go back to your properties and then symbology and then you change this to future and then you say add values now all they are added you just okay now it will be named here they are named so this is now our balance uh, let's give it a um, pitch uh, okay again make this zero and then this is our built up right this zero this is our farmland uh, green and then this zero in our water body oh sh uh oh i made mistake this isn't this is farm this is water body and this is farmland so wait, let me change their colors and then this 
it's found out. Okay, so we can change that on attribute table quickly. Double click and then start edit here. X Control V and then Farmland. Then we stop editing. Double click for it to go back and then stop. So you can go back to our tribute. And shoot you again and add. Okay, this time around it has adjust uh, water body zero. So it's actually where it's supposed to be in farmland. And uh, builds up. Finally, bear land. Okay, that's easily give this a pitch. Then, okay. So, this is the result of my classification. I've been able to convert it from raster to vector. And to do that, I use two softwares. I use Erdos Imaging version 9.2 and uh, ArcGIS. 10.5 so any of them but i've been trying to do that on the recent version the 2015 version of erdos imaging i've been unable but in case you watch this video and uh you know how to do that please can you drop the link to either your video or can you just drop the steps so that others who can, don't know how to use version 9.2 can also have access into knowing how they can convert from raster to vector and how they can actually bring out their classification name you can see that the procedure is actually rigorous but it's worth it i actually skip a thing which is very very vital and i cannot skip because i may not have time to make another video now another thing you need to know about this file is that if you just close you will not see it if let's say you sent the folder you finish working to another person you will not see it you need to export this as a data and uh, you give it an output and let's say i say 2019 for example as a shape file then you export now it has actually done the exporting you wanted but it's coming in one polygon file what do you do you right click and you go to properties and uh, you see it's on single symbol so you go to categories and then you change this from area to future and then you add all values you uncheck this and you okay that's all so if you send this folder to another person he'll be able to see it and when he do this he's done so once again a big thank you please do not forget hit the subscribe button thank you very much this is coming from elite Joe Special. so thank you for watching please do well to subscribe to elite Joe Special. Encourage us, subscribe, share to your friends, um, like the video, comment, and we'll get back to you. Thank you very much.